if you could call the guy, the kid back at, 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 at UT yep. and talk to him, what would you tell him right now? I would tell him to take, advan take better advantage of the opportunities you have when you're younger, to figure out the world, to travel, to meet people outside your comfort zone, and to really just be exposed to everything. Mm. That's, you know, in, in hindsight, it's always easy. Why didn't I go there? Why didn't I do that? And I think especially, especially in college where you have that opportunity to do those things and you have the opportunity to really approach anybody and say, hey, I'm just a silly college student trying to learn my way around in life. Can you chat with me for 20, 30 minutes? That, you know, you're going to get much further in cold emails doing that <laughs> versus when you're 35, 36 and saying, hey, I'm looking to learn about this industry. Can you take some of your precious time for free and chat with me right like that's not going to work anymore that is a man that is good stuff right there that's good Leron. good that's excellent for the, for the young folks okay and then one last question so as you wake up every day now if you had to define your core purpose in life in a sentence or two i was challenged to define my core purpose when i was 50 and i really struggled to do it uh if you had to put your core purpose in a sentence and I didn't let you tie it to family yep. and I forced you to kind of keep it over on the professional side, what would you say your core purpose is? And to tie it on the professional side? Yeah. Yeah. It's got it. Yeah. Yeah. Don't try not to tie it to, to family. Cause usually most right, people are yep. like, well, I want to take care of my family professionally. Yep. What's your core purpose? My core purpose is to build something that leaves the world in a better position than it was from before I started. And maybe hopefully make a little money on the way. I think that those two things are tied. Ooh, I, good, good, I good, 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 good. I don't think making something better is, uh, is necessarily, necessarily has to be a nonprofit. The Rudderflex podcast features entrepreneurs, business executives, and the stories behind how they got there, as well as daily tips on career advice and job interviews. Our show can be heard just about anywhere these days, but you can visit riderflex.com and click on the podcast page to hear all the previous episodes and learn more about the recruiting and consulting services we provide. Contact us at the email address info at riderflex.com or 888-964-5876. Thanks so much for listening. And if you enjoy our show, please be sure to subscribe to our channel and like the episodes.